garage. This morning we're gonna paint our SS stripes on the hood and on the trunk. And I kind of ended up redoing this section behind the rear window. Uh, found a little imperfection, a small dent that I didn't quite get out. Um, not very noticeable, but not to my standard. So sanded it down with 80 and uh, fixed the dent and reprimed it. Um, also, I have sanded my entire hood and trunk with 800 um, to rough up the clear coat and get it prepared for paint so paint will stick to it. So gonna get the SS stripes on here today. Uh, gonna paint the center sections black first and then I'll wait about an hour and then uh, we'll stencil it all off. Um, paper it off and get the gray painted again and then hopefully some clear after that so that's what's happening on school garage today i'll be using the house of color shimmering jet black for my stripes um, and then my cement gray of course that i used on the car so we're going to get this mixed up and spray it Just finished putting a second coat of base coat on and um, letting it flash. I found that that's really important. Don't get in a hurry. Let everything dry pretty good. Um, and then I'll go over it with a tack rag again. Um, but I've also, I learned this from the Paint Society <laughs> YouTube channel. And I bought this. These are the Super Asilix. They're an 800 grit. Um, come with a little pad. And if you go over your paint, especially if you're painting in your own shop or garage, there's always dust that settles in the paint. And then when you clear coat, it just magnifies everything that's settled in there. So um, going over it very lightly with these 800 um, Asilix sheets um, kind of denibs and uh, preps your final coat of base coat, gets the dust out and I've kind of found that that really helps uh, get a good flat clear on there. So I'm gonna let this flash for a few more minutes and go over it and get a third coat of base on. And if you're painting in your garage shop um, instead of a paint booth, I spend a lot of time actually cleaning and vacuuming and blowing out dust and doing that multiple times. So we can alleviate a lot of the dust in my paint. Here's a look at my stencil kit. Just gotta line it up with the center. And then we will peel off what need, doesn't need to be there. Um, and I have some pen stripe tape to connect the lines to the back. And some pen stripe tape to stretch across the top of the trunk.
stripes laid out. And now I will paper off. And then we'll go ahead and shoot this with gray. finished putting my third coat of base on and it is a little foggy in here and it's still flashing um, I'm gonna let this dry for about an hour before I peel the tape and then we will shoot some clear I haven't put any clear coat on yet but just peeled the paint and pretty happy with the lines Looks like I forgot to peel one right here. Peel the hood off. Next. And there's the hood. I'm gonna run a tack rag over it real quick and start the clear process. I'm pretty happy with the final product. I haven't uh, done any cutting or buffing yet. Um, there's definitely a few little nibs in there that I'll need to sand out, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy I put on the stripes. I originally wasn't going to. I was just gonna paint it gray. Now it's time to get this Chevelle back together. And I've got a lot of things laying out, ready for assembly, and need to get the bumpers on. Uh, already put the grill back in, <laughs> but pretty excited to finish up this project. So, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it, and like and subscribe if you want to. And we'll talk to you again soon.